Hey Pixar fans, what is up? Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com here, and I'm back guys with another Lightyear review, and today I'm finally sharing my detailed look at all three Wave 1 Deluxe figures as part of Mattel's Lightyear 5-inch scale action figure collection. In this range, we have mission-equipped Buzz Lightyear, and he's ready for all sorts of action. He's got his jetpack with fold-out wings, his Phase 1 laser, squeeze-activated arm-swinging action, a big blaster with firing projectile, and a removable helmet. The Zerg Deluxe figure is 10 inches tall, which is in scale with 5 inch Buzz and the other 5 inch scale figures. Zerg here has a removable arm so that you can attach his arm blaster, and then of course it includes 3 yellow firing projectiles for blasting action. Lastly I have here the battle equipped Zyclops Deluxe figure, which stands at 8 inches tall, again in scale with the rest of the 5 inch collection, and this one has a pop off teleportation disc and firing missiles. So I'm going to start things off here with Zerg, honestly to more or less kind of get it out of the way since if you've been following my channel here for a while, you know I already reviewed this same Zerg since it also comes in the Crystal Grade Buzz vs Zerg Clash Pack. The only difference is that Zerg has some battle damage deco and this deluxe mainline one here is all clean, but that is it. It's the same sculpt, has the same overall details and features, it's all the same. If you did miss my review of the battle damage Clash Pack version though, be sure to check out that video by hitting the card above. But yeah, I still wanted to review this particular Zerg as quick as possible, so here he is in the open blister style packaging. I really dig that. By the way, all three of these figures came out with the initial Mattel Lightyear toy launch back in April, so yes, I've had these for months now, and I've been trying to get this review done for quite some time. So here's the back of the package, really cool image of Zerg showing off a sweet dynamic pose you can achieve. I'll demonstrate his points of articulation in a minute. The back here also highlights his features, the equipable arm blaster and launching missiles, and a look at all six basic mainline Wave 1 Lightyear 5 inch scale action figures. Here's the underneath, and that is it for the packaging, so let's go ahead and bust things out. And here he is. Honestly, I think this figure looks pretty good for what it is. It's lightweight and feels plasticky, so expect that. It's on the cheaper side for sure, but it's still durable and won't break on kids during play. I will say I am more lenient with this line though, since these are cheaper figures geared toward kids, so they're not going to have that same level of detail and paint that collector grade figures will have, so I don't hold them to that standard. There are certain movie details missing here with this Zerg for sure, so if you're looking for a more detailed version to display, you might want to check out and consider Mattel's 7 inch scale Alpha Class series. The Zerg in that line is 13 inches tall and does have a bit more painted movie accurate details. The Alpha Class Zerg is $40 though, compared to this one here which retails for $21 and can be found for even less than that now, so there is a big price jump. I will be reviewing the Alpha Class Zerg in the near future as well, so stay tuned for that. As far as articulation here, he has 14 points, the head can rotate 360, and it's on what seems to be a ball joint, so you get some nice swivel movement there for posing. Then his arms there at the shoulders have some nice range, his elbows can bend and rotate, his wrists can rotate 360, then he has 360 degree rotation at the waist, legs can be posed outward, forward, and back. Knees can bend and rotate. And then his feet don't have much movement at all, but they do swivel around a little bit, so it still counts. And while that is Zerg as far as the actual figure is concerned, it is a good sculpt with a good likeness and is an overall good $20 toy representation of the character. And of course, with any deluxe action figure like this, the best part is the action feature itself. And in Zerg's case here, once again, it's the equipable arm blaster or ion blaster with firing projectiles. So just remove his regular arm like this. There we go. Plug in his blaster arm. Easy peasy. You'll feel it snap into place. Load in the three yellow missiles like this, and there we go. This looks a little bit more like the Zerg we all know and love, right? And I gotta say, I'm so glad Mattel ended up correcting themselves and made the missiles yellow instead of red. The online listing images still show the Zerg prototype figure with red missiles, and a lot of us fans would have been real disappointed if they had kept things like that. By the way, I also wanted to note that the elbow on the blaster arm does not have a movable joint, even though it's molded to look like it does. It is just one static piece. And now let's see this feature in action. Just press this button on top here and pew! All three missiles fire at once. Pew! Destroy Buzz Lightyear. Boom! And lastly for Zerg here, I just wanted to show you a comparison so you can see for yourself that the Clash Pack version of Zerg and the Single Pack Zerg are exactly the same figure. Again, the only difference is the battle damage deco that was added to the 2-pack version seen there on the right. 
And now that I'm looking even closer, there is one more minor difference when it comes to coloring. It's so subtle, I'm not even sure you can tell here, but Zerg's mouth on the mainline single deluxe Zerg there on the left is a slightly darker yellow compared to the Clash Pack version there on the right. It's a tiny, tiny difference, but I just noticed and had to mention it. Okay, now I'm going to be taking a look at the deluxe battle-equipped Zyclops. He's got the same nice open style packaging like Zerg has. And here's the back. We've got some callouts to the action features like the ejecting teleportation disc and blasting projectile. And then this time the back only shows the deluxe mission equipped buzz instead of the entire Wave 1 mainline. And here's a look underneath. Okay, that's it for the box. Let's open this sucker up, shall we? I've been so excited to dive into this one for months now, so let's not waste any more time. All right, so to start things off here, let's equip this battle-equipped Zyclops. First, I'm going to show off real quick the disc here in more detail, and then I'll attach it to the robot. Remember, these teleportation devices are used in the film to teleport things and people to Zerg's mothership, so that's a really cool accessory to have here for world building. And that just attaches to the front chest plate like so. Then here we have the two included red projectiles, and even though you can only fire one at a time, I like that it comes with two, since it doesn't hurt to have an extra if one ends up getting lost during play. Anyway, one of those gets loaded into his arm like this, you'll feel it click into place, and now the Zyclops is officially battle ready. Look at how cool this thing is, guys. I love the design, and it translates so well into a fun toy. Kids are going to eat this up, and collectors are going to love including this as part of their light year display, which will add a nice pop of color, by the way. Again, like Zerg, it's a cheaper feeling lightweight plastic, but it feels sturdy enough. Kids will definitely be able to put this through all sorts of action, and it will hold up. Very minimal paint once again, but there are enough details here to get the point across, for sure. And retail price is a little less than Zerg, since it is a little smaller. This Zyclops retails for $18.99. Let's see, we got the Z on the back there. It's a nice detail. All sorts of movable joints, which I'll touch on in a sec. It is a little odd to have its other blaster arm closed up. It's just sealed off, painted red, so you can't load a missile into it. I mean, this figure does come with two projectiles anyway, so it would have been cool if you could fire one out of that arm too, but oh well. Ultimately, I'm super happy with this figure. It's going to bring a lot of action to Lightyear Playtime, and I can't wait to add this to our epic battles when my son and I play Lightyear next. And guess what, guys? Remember in the film when we see red and black versions of these bots as well? Well, we're getting both those versions here in this line very soon, so that's really exciting. They're just repaints of the main yellow one I have here, of course, but I'm still so pumped. Here's the red one as part of an upcoming multi-pack. And here's the black version as just seen at San Diego Comic-Con 2022. So a big thanks to Instagram account Darth Primus for the coverage. Alrighty, moving on to articulation. Its head can rotate side to side, though it's a little hard to grip as you'll find out, but I'm happy it can move. Then there's a good range of arm movement there at the shoulders. Its elbows can bend, but don't rotate 360 like most of the other figures in this line. No rotation there at the tip of the arm blaster but it still has 360 degree rotation at the waist. Its legs can move forward, back, and out to the sides like this. Its knees can bend, but like it is with the elbows, these knees don't rotate. And then like it was with Zerg, it's got a little bit of swivel movement down at the feet. Not much though. And I think that's it. No peg holes underneath the feet here. And well, if my calculations are correct, looks like this figure has 12 points of articulation. Not too bad at all. There's plenty there to get this figure into some pretty sweet poses. Oh, and by the way, though it might look like it, there's no rotation here on this arm. It's just where the pieces of the mold come together. Now for the action. Fire the Zyclops laser projectile by pressing this button. Pew! And again. Then eject the teleportation disc by pressing the button in the middle of its chest plate like this. And yeah, I know, it's not the most thrilling of features, but hey, I'll take any gimmick over no gimmick on this type of toy. I just like action features. And speaking of, it's Moe's turn to get totally destroyed, so take that, Moe. Bam. Target eliminated, Mo Zero, Zyclops 1. <laughs> then just real quick now that they're both out of the package, here's Zerg next to the Zyclops, just so you can see the size difference between the two. Okay, my friends, we've made it to the last deluxe figure for now. Here we have the deluxe mission-equipped Buzz Lightyear, probably my favorite 5-inch scale Space Ranger Alpha Buzz so far. This version of Alpha Buzz has just so much going for it, and it's certainly the most comprehensive in the line so far. We got his Phase 1 jetpack and wings, we got his helmet, we got his Phase 1 laser gauntlet, which is like the precursor to his iconic wrist laser, we got an action feature for laser blasting action, and a bonus rocket launcher style weapon with firing projectile. And all you have to do is add his blaster and laser blade from the other 5 inch scale buzz releases, and boom, you have the most completed version of 5 inch scale alpha buzz to date. So yeah, once again, some great open blister packaging here. 
Here's the back of the box. It shows how you can add the jetpack to gear up. Press to blast out the rocket launcher projectile. This time it just shows the Zyklops in the back, and then this image shows how Buzz raises his arm in a laser firing pose when you squeeze the figure's legs. Here's underneath the package once again. And all right guys, you ready to get this Buzz equipped? Let's do it. First off, his helmet. It's literally the same as the other helmets that come with every single Alpha Buzz figure in this line though, so since I have reviewed this countless times, I'll just leave it at that. And then we have Buzz's Phase 1 jetpack with fold-out wings. Finally, I've been waiting to open one of these Space Ranger Alpha Buzz figures that have one of these packed in. And this one here is okay, it's not bad at all, but it is pretty bare bones as far as paint details like usual, but at least it has the yellow and black stripes. The actual sculpt is good though, it seems like all the sculpted details are there. And then let's go ahead and fold the wings like this. Now, I do wish there was a button for them to pop out with some kind of spring-loaded action, but alas, you do have to fold them in and out manually. I'll also say that the wings do look a little small and stubby. If only they were a tad longer, I feel they would be perfect as far as size relative to the Buzz figure. The only other jetpack with wings released so far is the one that comes with the XL-15 ship, which I still need to review, by the way. But that one seems maybe even too big. At least it has more coloring, though. But yeah, anyway, it seems the right size should be somewhere in between the two. Let me know what you guys think. Then for the last accessory here with this figure, we got this big blaster, which appears to be some sort of rocket launcher maybe, but different from the Mr. Boom rocket launcher. I'm not remembering seeing this one in the film, so you'll have to let me know if you remember if it's in there or not. Um, got the orange projectile here, just gets loaded in here like so. Press the button on top and fire away. And now here is the actual Buzz figure. Looks pretty similar to the other Buzz figures in this line, of course. It's definitely reusing some parts here, like the head sculpt, for example, appears to be the same old, same old. But there are some pretty significant additions and improvements here. Still no light your name on the chest plate, unfortunately. If anything, I thought it would be added on this one here, since it is a deluxe figure, but no such luck. So far, moving along here, nothing too different. But the back here does have something I'm really excited about. You know how in my previous Lightyear reviews, I'm always talking about how all the other 5-inch Buzz figures so far don't have a hole the right size on his back to plug the laser blade accessory into? Since that's how they store the blades on their suits in the film, on their backs, I just wanted a Buzz figure with that ability. Well, this whole time, this one here has had it, and I just didn't know since I hadn't opened it yet, and it's the only one so far that has it. Makes me so happy, and even though this Buzz figure doesn't come with a laser blade, I do have plenty of them from the other Buzz figures in this line, so I'll just show you how it looks really soon here with one of those. Anyway, there's also still a hole there on his side, as usual, to plug in other weapons or Ivan Navigator accessories from the other Buzz figures. This is also the first and only 5-inch Alpha Buzz figure to have this Zero One patch and laser gauntlet on the right arm here, so I'm thrilled about those details since that adds some more screen accuracy, which you know I'm always looking for. Oh, and by the way, the laser is not removable, if you couldn't tell. And now we'll add his helmet on. Nice, and let's check out his action feature. You just squeeze his legs together like this, and you get this fun arm swooping laser blasting pose. It also kind of resembles punching, so Buzz can use that to defeat his enemies. And it also could be a little reference to Buzz's karate chop action feature from Toy Story, though not exactly the same type of movement. You can see what I mean though. Now I'm just gonna breeze through the articulation since it's really the same 12 points of articulation the other Alpha Buzz figures have. 360 head rotation, a good range of movement there at the shoulders, by the way, this all applies to both sides. The action feature doesn't affect the arms or legs at all. Elbows can bend and rotate. Wrists can rotate all the way around. And now really the only difference here for articulation compared to the other buzzes is while his waist does move side to side, it's not 360 due to the laser blasting gimmick. His legs have all the same movement we've seen so far in this line. His knees can bend and rotate. And that is it. No joints at the ankles got peg holes under his feet there like usual and phew that is it guys like I said 12 points of articulation there for you per usual then let's go back to the back just wanted to show you how you can plug in the laser blade again this is a laser blade from another buzz figure since this deluxe buzz doesn't come with one and nice this here is all I've wanted all along guys and it looks great I know it may not be a big deal to most of you but I just love the accuracy of this look here you can also plug in the big blaster that comes with this set like so and of course the jetpack with wings. And here is Buzz's complete deluxe look. Helmet, laser, jetpack, wings, and blaster, which he looks really cool holding, even if it may not be film accurate, at least from what I can remember. And now for a Buzz versus Zyklops standoff. Not today, Zyklops. Pew! Zerg. Pew! Buzz zero, Zyklops two. Zerg is pleased.
Can't keep Buzz down that easily, though. Pew! Uh-oh. Well, at least Buzz snagged one of the teleportation discs. So, see ya, Zergy! Now one of the last things I wanted to share here is this shot of mission equipped Buzz who's in the middle compared to the standard Buzz from the hostile planet pack on the left there and the mainline single carded wave one Buzz there on the right. Here's the back view. Really the peg hole on the back is the only real main difference. Everything else looks strikingly similar. And then a quick close up. Wait, who's the real Buzz? I am. Moving on to my final thoughts, here's the full Wave 1 Deluxe range together at last out of their boxes for a size comparison. Seriously, these three look really fantastic together. In my humble opinion, no light year 5 inch scale figure collection is complete without Zerg and a Zyclops, so I mean, you're gonna need to snag those if you're collecting this line. They're essential. And I also feel this Buzz is a must have, even though I know there are so many Alpha Buzz 5 inch figures out there in this line. If you were only gonna get one though, I'd say this would be the one to get since it includes the most bang for your buck, which does remind me, Mission Equipped Buzz also retails for around $18. I forgot to mention that earlier. Anyway, what do you all think of these deluxe figures? This review is up real late, I know, so I'm sure most of you light year collectors have already snagged these a long time ago, but I'd still love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed today's review, I hope you'll consider giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more Pixar toy news, reviews, and toy hunts, and I will catch you all in my next video.